If you own an older Mercedes-Benz and are having door lock problems, one of the things you first want to check are the vacuum actuators. This is the number one cause of failure, uh, in, particularly in the W116 and the early 123, the 114, the 115 chassis. They have these type of actuators that have these rubber diaphragms. Now on the W116 chassis and the early, the early 123 chassis, they have a double unit like you see here and it has four rubber diaphragms. And you can imagine these things are 30 years, 30 plus years old and they moving up and down and particularly if the cars have set outside or in a harsh uh, environment, uh, these diaphragms uh, develop cracks and then of course when you go to try to operate the locks, nothing happens because all the vacuum is leaking out of those cracks. The only way you're going to fix it is to remove the door panels and find out what actuator or actuators are leaking and you're going to have to uh, fix or replace them. Uh, what's unique about these is that we carry a replacement rubber diaphragms on our website. So you can fix these fairly inexpensively if you're going to do the work yourself. I, you know, I have other resources on my website, manuals on how to get the door panels off and so on and, and uh, complete kits on how to test the system. Uh, if you're going to get into your vacuum door locks, you're going to need a hand pump vacuum tester. Otherwise, you're kind of shooting in the dark, so to speak, because you're not going to be able to isolate the problems unless you can build up vacuum to test what you're working on. Let me show you an example. Um, I'm working on my W116 300SD here, and one of the door locks is not working properly, and the system leaks down. You come back a half hour to open up the doors, and they don't work. Well, it's losing vacuum. Something's leaking somewhere. And uh, so if you, get, if you get one of these, get it out of the door. By the way, there's, there's three of these. You have um, the passenger front door, the two rear doors, but there's not one of these located on the driver's door here. It, this is where the switch is. So you're only looking at, and sometimes the switch can cause problems too, but generally you want to be suspicious of these vacuum actuators early on in your diagnosis. So the way you can test these is you can use a vacuum hand pump tester. And let me show you the sequence on how to test these. It's really quite simple and if, you know, it'll immediately show you if it's not working properly. By the way, you do not need to remove these actuators from the door to test them. I've done that for ease of illustration here. Um, once again, you have four, you can see the four rubber diaphragms that make up this twin unit here. As long as you can get to these two nipples here uh, and get your tester on them, you can leave it in the door. So what, you, what you're going to do is hook up the vacuum hand pump tester to one side first and then we will, we will pump up vacuum, bring it up to about oh, a little over 20, 22, and look at the needle, see? holding steady. A lot of times you'll, you'll have a slow leak down and your, your actuator may be repairable, I'll explain that in a little bit, but sometimes it won't even build up pressure, that means you have a major crack in the diaphragm. So I can release vacuum and remove it from this side. Notice it's pulling it one way with vacuum to one side and then let's plug the vacuum tester into the other side and let's begin to pump up pressure. Look at that, see that? It won't even pump up. So that means we've got, um, you know, a major diaphragm that, a crack that we're going to have to deal with. Sometimes if you get a real slow leak, uh, these diaphragms are held on with these plastic rings here and they snap off. Sometimes you can come in and clean, see that? You can clean the lip, put a little soapy water in there clean the lip, put the diaphragm back on. As long as there's no crack, and you can, you can bend them back, see if there's any cracking in the rubber. And a lot of times a small leak can be repaired that way. But if you're having any kind of a major leak, you're either going to have to replace these. These older units are no longer made, so you'll either have to find a good used one. We do carry good used units on our website. And we also carry these uh, 
rubber diaphragms, and these come with complete instructions on how to install them in the actuator housings that you see here. So if you're having vacuum door lock problems with your W116 or early 123, I hope you find this video helpful.